Well, we came up with the idea of making each of these ladies a red rose. So when you walk in that room, it's going to be all red roses. What Derby Decade Simply Chic is, is an overview of exciting costumes which would have been worn either to the Derby or to galas of the time since the race's inception. So since 1875 to 2009. So it showcases all the decades and sort of all the different fashions, you know, the, the things that were kind of, you know, um, sort of pieces of their time, you know, the kind of the uh, old Hollywood glamorous look of the 30s, you know, mixed with, you know, the different kind of outrageous looks that, that are, you know, we commonly see today. It's just great fun to be uh, working with all these different eras of style. Uh, a lot of people can be in the fashion business and never have an opportunity to do that. And I just feel really privileged. Well, it might actually be easier to do it bottom first. So take it, you're going to take it off the mannequin. You have to have, you know, fresh, clean gloves every single day. And then, you know, what we've learned from different curators that have done this before is that the idea of um, control top pantyhose, you know, cut open and kind of pushed on the mannequin is a great way to pad things out. Um, we think we are missing a little panel that goes in. It's a definite process. And the older ones are definitely a lot more cumbersome than the earlier one, than the, uh, than the ones from today. The design and the fabrications that are just never available anywhere, you know, they're, they're pieces of art. I have always wanted to completely cover the walls of something in Red Roses for Derby. And we couldn't do that because that's incredibly expensive. But we came up with something else. And uh, I don't think anybody's ever done anything like it. And I, I do think people are going to just be blown away at the design of it. Well, we've been working with individuals that have been kind enough to lend us these wonderful pieces. Also, we've been working with three different institutions. Uh, the Speed, which is here in Louisville, as well as the Louisville Science Center, and also the Elizabeth Sage uh, Historic Costume Collection, which is in Bloomington. And they've been really nice. Just everyone's, you know, kind of let us sort of fill out the decades of this wonderful fashion. So it's been a lot of fun. Some of them have definitely been worn to the Derby, especially, you know, some of the later ones. So a lot of them are really timeless. I mean, if you check out, like, the 30s or something like that. I mean, the shape is very similar to designs we see today. So that's that's the thing that's kind of interesting is good fashion is all always kind of they're just reinventing, you know, the old.